maybe the actions that you're going to take to end this? Of course, we, we, as a Dimeo, we must defend the rights of every Kenyan and the right of every Kenyan community. We want an equal society. We don't want a society where some people are more equal than others. We have seen that this regime is discriminating against other communities in the country. If you have, uh, you're appointing uh, principal secretaries and 50% are just from a community uh, against the others, of course you're discriminating. But these other communities also pay taxes. Taxes are paid by all communities in this country equally. But when you are now doing appointment, you look at appointment in parastatals since they started. Do that analysis. Go and look at procurement officers. Out of 32 procurement officers, 18 are from one community. The other four communities share the remaining um, uh, 14. The rest of the country does, do not have a single one. So 32 procurement officers are shared by five communities, but one community alone has got 18 officers. This is what we've been told. Oh, the, Kenya Kwanza is looking at everybody equally. We want to ensure that the country is uh, united and so on. There's a big disconnect between rhetorics and the reality of the, from this government. You have accessed uh, Dr. Fred Matengi's home. What have you assessed uh, in your access to his home? It is a very un uh, unfortunate situation, a very sorry state of affairs here. People here are, are, are traumatized and terrorized as if uh, a big crime has been committed here. So Matengi is now being treated as a criminal, a wanted criminal but without any reason being given for doing this. When we came here last time, they denied. They denied that uh, even they intended to come here. Uh, now they, they even now threatened, they said they want footage and so on. But now again they are coming back to, to us. Just a few days later, what is it that Matengi has done? If you want, if you, you, you have evidence, you want to prosecute Matengi, take, go to court. Come up with your evidence, but you're trying to manufacture evidence so that you can find somebody guilty. This is something that is really unacceptable, and and this is something that our people should not allow to continue. It's harassment of an individual who has given service to this country. I don't understand why this is happening. Uh, we. What we want as a Zimio to be allowed to operate as a political outfit without interference. But there's a lot of interference of a Zimio. Members of parliament are being looked for the left, right and centre, taken to state house, given bribes so that they can defect the other side. Each one who goes to state house is given five million shillings, supposedly for development. All the times, oh, we are going to state house so that we can uh, get development for our people. There is no, no development in state house. Budget is prepared by parliament. Right now, parliament is in the process of preparing supplementary.